Hi students, so I have a new question in front of you. Again, the question comes in the balloon series. So all of you just go through the question. It's a very easy question. If you have already watched our balloon series question, this would be very easy. You can just easily get it. You can take a pen of pen and paper and parallelly do with me. Okay. Those who haven't watched the other questions, please watch it and come back to this question. Okay. Uh, otherwise also you will understand, but listen to it. Okay. Let's go to the question. So a ball is dropped from a balloon moving upwards with a velocity of 10 meter per second at a height of 20 meter from the ground. Okay. The distance traveled by the ball before reaching the ground is. So this is the question actually. So we will try to understand the question first and then we will try to solve it. Okay. So yeah. So first we will uh, draw a balloon. Okay. I will draw a red balloon this time. Okay. So this is my red balloon okay so this is the ground okay this is my ground okay now this balloon was moving up okay and it states that this balloon was moving up at a speed of 10 meter per second so let me note here its velocity its velocity so its velocity is 10 meter per second okay and the balloon is at a height of how much 20 meter this balloon is at a height of 20 meter from the ground okay so i can mark that it is 20 meter from the ground and at this point a ball is dropped from the balloon a ball is dropped from the balloon again the same case so let me take a blue ball this time okay so it is dropped at the, from this point and please understand when it is dropped from the balloon what is the fundamental we learned the stone the ball was initially present in the balloon so it is also moving with 10 meter per second now when it is dropped what is happening the 10 meter per second that was present in the balloon it is it will be there we know that the body will continue its state of motion or state of rest unless an external force act on it so it will be still moving with the 10 meter per second and it will go up its velocity will become zero then it will go down this will be the motion that will be happening so now they are asking what they are asking in the question tell me sir so what they are asking here is we know that this will go up okay and it will come down okay and the motion would be so for easiness of drawing i'm drawing it like this okay so it will be moving like this it is going up at this point its velocity will become zero and it will come down and it come down and finally it will strike the ground now now listen now listen now what they are asking you in this question is they want to find out what is the distance traveled by this stone it is not the displacement displacement is very easy you don't need to calculate it what is displacement initial position minus final position so that is 20 meter we know it 20 meter but what they are asking you the distance distance means the actual path traveled by the stone like this so we already know that up to this much okay that means we need to know from here to here it is 20 meter so what actually we need to find out we need to find out what is the distance traveled from here to here this point so from here to here if you know this distance then you can add from here to here 20 meter and you can get the answer so i am going to tell you how to calculate the distance that needs to be calculated from the starting point to this point from here to here that is what i am going to tell okay so let's listen so i have uh, again drawn that here you can see here it is moving at 10 meter per second so the initial distance is 20 meter it's given here this height is 20 meter okay and the ball is here shown it is moving at a speed of 10 meter per second in the upward direction and we need to calculate the distance from here to this point okay up to this point after that we know it is 20 meter so i will split this motion into two half okay so again i am redrawing this one so you can see here from here to here is my first motion okay so let me mark it for your understanding so let me say this is the topmost point and let me say starting point is a and this point is b and again this point i am taking it as c okay so now i am considering from a to b a to b motion i am considering okay and i will apply the equation 
okay so i will make it beautiful for you to understand and you will get always an energy when everything looks neat okay so from a to b what we can say at the topmost point we know the velocity will become zero so i am applying the equation v is equal to u plus a t okay now i am applying the sign convention so at the topmost point velocity is zero so i have put, put zero here and you know that u initial velocity is in the upward direction and we already learned that anything in the upward direction we take it as positive and anything in the downward direction we take it as negative so please remember upward direction we take it as positive and the downward directions we take it as negative so here u is in the upward direction so i can easily say u is positive i am going to take and that value is plus 10 okay plus 10 meter per second then acceleration a please remember always ball is acted upon by g in the downward direction and we know that here g is in the downward direction that's why i have taken it as minus and this g value i am taking it as 10 rather than 9.8 for my calculation to become easier the into time t so from this the time i am getting it as one second so this time we call it as time of ascent time of ascent means the time required for this to move to reach the topmost point this is called time of ascent and please believe whenever a body is moving in the upward direction when it is thrown in the upward direction the time of ascent will be equal to the time of descent descent means the same ball when it reaches the same height it might have traveled the same time okay so if it is one second for this particular motion then i can say it will take the same one second up to this particular height it would also be one second so please remember this concept time of ascent will be equal to time of descent so from this i understood that for this entire motion from here to here okay the total time would be two second correct but actually the ball will move from here also again another 20 meter but we don't need to calculate the distance there because we already know it is 20 meter actually it is mentioned in the question okay so i want only to calculate the distance from here to this particular point c so now i know what is the time for moving from a to b and from b to c so totally it will take a time of two second okay now with this two second i will calculate the distance so s is equal to ut plus half a t square please remember the s i am considering here is not displacement it is the distance okay so here u we know it is 10 it is in the upward direction initially so it is positive okay so i am taking i am considering here only the motion from a to b only the distance because we know that it's a symmetrical motion so it's a symmetrical motion means if you calculate this distance the same distance will be from here to here also okay so i am calculating this for i will let me say a to b a to b okay so it's very easy then you don't need to consider the entire motion okay so a to b so a to b if a to b i am considering then the distance and the displacement it is the same so no issues okay so you can consider this as a distance or even displacement so 10 uh, why positive 10 is coming because initial direction is in the upward direction so 10 into 1 second for reaching up to here we know it is 1 second okay plus we know that g always act in the downward direction that's why minus is coming minus 10 into time for this is one second so if you calculate that you will get it as five meter now please understand that the time of the distance from here to here is what we calculated and this is five meter so as our principle from here also it is symmetrical so it would be another five meter so i can say that listen listen so i can say that the distance traveled by the ball before reaching the ground would be how much five meter from here to here then another five meter from here to here that is you can see here then another 20 meter already given in the question so totally i am explaining it one more time so five meter from here so another five meter here okay then another 20 meter here so totally i can say it has traveled 30 meters so i hope you understood the question any doubt hmm? so it's very clear so what i have done here is 
I already know the distance traveled from here to here. I only need to calculate the distance from here to here. For that, I calculated the time of ascent and I know the time of ascent is equal to time of descent. With that, I calculated the distance from A to B and B to C. Okay. So let's check whether the answer is here in the options. Okay. Yeah, it's clear, very clearly in the question. So the answer is option C that is 30 meter. Okay. So I'll mark it with pen. So I hope it's clear for you. Okay. So for more questions, please subscribe the channel. You will get a clear explanation. And in case if you are not understanding, feel free to comment it. We will, I will for sure again explain it with another video. Thank you.